Hey, Gary Brew here. So today I have something actually pretty cool, pretty excited about showing you um, something I've been wanting to do and I'm thinking that the Autel Evo 2 Dual can actually do it. So this hasn't been talked about a lot, but with the Evo 2 Dual, I think they call it the Rugged Pack or whatever, um, comes this harness. That This harness is actually made by Fox Fury 4 Autel. Uh, it's a really nice design. And it, the, one of the nice things is, is, is it's simple. So, of course, everybody in public safety wants things quick and simple. To put this thing on, you literally just throw it over the top and it's on that quick. What it's designed for originally is they have uh, lights and there's seven mount points on here. Seven, there's two on the bottom, uh, two on each side and one on the top. So, like, for instance, you, this, this is one of the lights. It comes with two lights. You got an anti-collision and more of a spotlight. And they have these little um, these little latch points on here, and they just you can pop that on there, and then you can maneuver it. Now, that's awesome, and we've you, we've tested this inside, and it, and it works really good. Uh, but I was sitting there thinking, you know, one of the things that public safety really likes for their UAS to do is to be able to carry a uh, PFD or a tagline or something like that. So I was sitting there looking at this, and I dusted off my my uh, camming and cadding and uh, tool pathing skills and design this out of billet aluminum and stainless steel. Uh, it's real lightweight, only weighs a few grams, but it needs to be robust. And so it, it uses two of these slots right here and it just locks into here and here, right? And so now we have a payload hook and this has kind of a, a universal mount. So this opens up the door for things like um, uh, payload deliveries for drop devices and everything else. But right now, I just want to see, you know, can the Autel carry stuff reliably and is it, is it robust enough? How's the propulsion system? And we're going to test this in part of the test matrix, but I was pretty excited about how this thing turned out. So I wanted to um, make a quick video and, and test this real time with you. So anyway, uh, the first one up, let's, uh, let's start with the PFD. So this would be for, for a victim swift water type of situation. Um, and let's see, could will the Autel Evo 2 dual carry? Now, it's about 95 degrees out here. We have about a five mile an hour wind. And so not a real strong wind. So I want to test in stronger winds, but uh, let's see what it does. So let's go ahead and, and just uh, hook it up here, just like that. And, and okay, all right, so we are good to go. And let's go ahead and I'm uh, you're watching it with me real time, so <laughs> yeah, hopefully, everything goes good. Here we go. Man, that thing picked that thing up like nothing. Holy smokes. Let's see, let's see if I can't get it in the camera here. I'll bring it down a little bit. I was listening to see if there's any strain on the propulsion system and there's not. Let's go ahead and uh, move it around a little bit and maybe see, check if there's any kind of pendulum effect or how the flight controller handles this. I'm trying to keep it in the camera. It handles it very nice. How about climbing? No problem at all. Descending and recovery, no problem. Ah, that's nice. Let's see if we can go fly it around just a little bit. I'm not. I don't want to go too far to where it's out of the camera. Very nice. Again, we have about a five mile an hour wind. So this is good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it back and um, I just wanna check and see, and go ahead and land it. And I'm gonna check and see if the propulsion system is getting hot by any chance. I don't have a release system on here right now, so I kinda have to 
There we go. Oops, you didn't get to watch that. Let me bring the camera down here, sorry. Let me check the propulsion system. <laughs> it's not even warm. It's, I mean, it's, it feels no different than if I were, uh, if I had just flown it, didn't even strain it. All right, well, let's go for the next thing then. And so this, let's see if I can get it. This is actually a fluke meter, but this is what I'm going to use to simulate a multi-gas meter. This was requested, uh, be really good to be able to fly this thing into a hazmat type scenario and see if it can carry something like this. So I have this on its own little tagline. This thing weighs a little over a pound. I know a lot of the multi-gas meters weigh less and are smaller than this. Uh, but hey, if it can do this, it can definitely do one of those. So um, let's hook it up. There we go. And let's see how it handles this. Let me make sure everything is still good in the system. Everything looks good. All right. Here we go. No problem on that either. Let me move it forward a little bit. Bring it down. I'm trying to get it where you can see both of them here. There we go. See if this thing, if we have any kind of, let me bring it back closer to us so you can see it here. All right, maybe zoom in a little bit for you. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move back and forth, see if we get any pendulum from this. This is a little bit heavier, so. It handles that absolutely beautifully. I mean, it has to compensate for the swing, but it does it absolutely perfectly. Let's check about the descent. Nice smooth descend and recover. Fast climb. This thing has a whole lot more than it can carry than that. Holy smokes. Let me bring it down here. That thing shot up like there was nothing on it. All right, I wanna, I wanna do just a little bit more flying around with this one, then bring it back and, and land it. Again, I'm gonna try to keep it in the camera, but I'm gonna Do some maneuvering. Ah, nice job. So it handles both of these absolutely perfect. It looks like this little payload bracket that I made is uh, spot on right out of the gate. I'm really happy with it. Let's see if I can go ahead and land this again. Need, I should have put a breakaway on here or something like that. Of course, that'll be next, but oh, this time I'm gonna actually, let me do that again. You didn't get to see the landing on the last one. Maybe you can laugh at me if I mess up. <laughs> All right, so I'm, uh, there's the aircraft. I'm gonna go ahead and set the payload on the ground first. And then move forward, oops, move forward and land. Anyway, so let me go grab that thing. Let me check the propulsion system since this is a little bit heavier. It's, it's not even any warmer than if I were flying. Maybe a tad bit, tad bit, a few degrees, but it's, it's not even close to what I would call hot. Um, so this thing handled it. There's the, the payload bracket. 
Uh, this thing handled it really, really good. Um, hats off to Fox Fury on the design on the harness. Really opens up the door for us to be able to do a lot more with this system. Uh, big hats off to Autel for putting a robust propulsion system on here. This thing handled both of those with ease. So um, I'm gonna do a little more uh, quantifiable testing, do a little more meter and see, see what these things actually have. But I wanted to get this out there so that uh, people can see um, th what capabilities that this thing has. And, and again, this is something that I wish all manufacturers provided, stuff like this, uh, so that we can do more with the platforms that, that we buy. So anyway, hope this helps. We'll talk to you later.